power tools use many bearings to allow various components to rotate. Over time, a bearing will wear and begin to fail. A bearing that is failing will usually give warning, often with a squeaking or squealing sound. Replacing a bearing is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Socha. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the chuck. First, I'll remove the retaining screw. It's a reverse thread, so I'll turn it clockwise to remove it. With the retaining screw removed, now I can remove the chuck. To do that, I'll take a large Allen wrench and chuck it inside the chuck. I'll rotate the Allen wrench around so it's sitting just a little above level. Then I'll use a rubber mallet to quickly strike the Allen wrench and the quick momentum will break the chuck free from the thread. Now I'll remove the gearbox assembly from the motor. Now remove the spindle and gear. With the gear removed, I can remove the bearing. Notice with the bearing, there's a washer on either side of it. The second washer is stuck in the grease on the gear. I'll remove it with a magnet. Now I can reinstall the gear. I'll place the gear back into the needle bearing on the gear box. Now I can install the new needle bearing. I'll place one of the flat washers over the gear spindle. Then I'll install the needle bearing I'll press a little of the grease into the needle bearing, and then I'll install the second washer. Now I'll reinstall the gasket. I align it with the pins on the gearbox, and make sure it's sitting flat all the way around. Now I can reinstall the gearbox to the motor. You may need to rotate the spindle a little bit to get the gears to align, and I'll secure it with the screws. Now I'll reinstall the chuck. I'll thread the chuck onto the spindle and I'll place the Allen wrench back into it. I'll give the Allen wrench a tap just to make sure the chuck is tight. And I'll finish up by reinstalling the chuck retaining screw. Place it into the chuck and tighten it. And remember it's reverse thread, so I'll tighten it counterclockwise. And that's how you can install a new thrust bearing in your power tool. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.